The catfish versus the crappie. Can you make this one taste better than this one? Let's find out in today's cooking challenge. Welcome back to the channel everybody. We are gonna do some cooking today on a couple of recent dangle trips. I got me some crappie and I got a catfish. I don't often have those in the same mixture. And so kind of like the other day when I had crappie and walleye, I was like, I wanna see which one tastes better. Crappie, by the way, I don't think there's any question. The overall abundance and deliciousness, it's gotta be one of the top picks around. But the catfish, especially many in the South might argue, Good old fried catfish, that's just the most deliciousness ever. At least that's what my mama might say, but I think catfish has a little bit of a gaminess to it, and it's definitely not as tasty as the pure white golden crispy of a crappie. So here's the deal, I've got both in the cooler right now along with some white bass. We're just cooking those up for sustenance, but the real challengers here today are the channel catfish and the North American white crappie. So the challenge part of today's video is that me and OSU are going to be cooking off against each other and I'm going to be giving her the best meat, I think in most people's opinion, the crappie. I'm going to get the catfish and see if I can make the catfish taste better than her crappie. Now some of you may be saying, LFG, you're not as good as cook as OSG. This is a cooking competition. You're not going to win. However, I think in the fish department, I have a little special golden ticket because I've been cooking fish since I was no bigger than a little tick. You get what I'm saying, since I was a little dangler. Step one, let's get that blade out and let's make some fillets. Right here, we have our fillets. I think you can tell which one is which. So we got a little bit more on the catfish, just a bigger creature. And then the beautiful, the pure crappie. Are you ready to tango in the kitchen? Tango in the kitchen. I'm ready. So I don't even know what we're doing. <laughs> oh, I haven't informed you of this competition. No, you just told me, honey, you're cooking these fish tonight. That's pretty typical. I'm just getting my own dangle world sometimes. So honey, you are getting the best fish. You can do whatever you want. You could do mango slices, cook it in some red wine. I don't know, all sorts, whatever you want. You got the full OSG kitchen going on at your disposal. I've got the catfish, okay. a gamier fish. Okay. My challenge <laughs> is to make the catfish taste better than the crappie against oh. you. Okay, oh. I gave you the best fish. In my opinion, I have more experience cooking fish than you do, though. Do you? You think you do? I do. Oh yeah. Okay, let's. Oh yeah. Let's not forget the first meal I ever cooked you was indeed fish. It was tilapia, it was which tilapia. was probably the bottom of the list on both of these. We've come a long way, folks. <laughs> Fun fact about tilapia? Maybe I shouldn't tell. Them. Maybe not. If you want to know the fun facts about tilapia, just let me know in the comments right here. I, I studied um, ecology and fisheries ecology in specific in school. And uh, anyway, they're a fun thing to learn about. The only rule in this competition, we're just going to have a time limit. Okay. Okay. You have 20 minutes. It's a 20 minute time limit to complete your dish. That's it. Okay. Okay. You got skills. I have something going on. Let's do this. Wait, you've already been thinking about this. This is unfair. You're supposed to be o OSG in the kitchen. In the kitchen. You know, okay. the healthy chew. Let's let's do it. Okay, you got avocados ready on hand? No. Let's let the competition begin. Now. special judge coming over this evening. Okay. And her name is my mom. <laughs> Dang, but she does not like breaks. She loves catfish! Oh. I actually did not know she was coming over until very recently, like once we started this. So here's a tip for you guys on uh, making all of your fish a little better, whatever you're wanting to do before you apply your, your sauces, whether it's a batter or whatever it is. 
Uh, I like to pad mine dry. Go ahead and rinse them off, pat them dry. That's gonna just prevent that water from being a layer uh, or getting your batter sticky. Uh, it's just better to just kind of pat them a little bit. You don't have to have them like jerky. So here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna go with some, uh, some standard fish batter, a little Cosmo creation, and I'm also gonna add a little spice to it, just a little bit. My mom does not like a lot of spice. Yeah. You're going with Frank's Red Hot, so that's a bad move starting off. <laughs> I'm gonna go with Honey Chipotle Killer B. This is actually a, like a steak rub, it's a dry rub. I'm just gonna throw some of this in here and see what we come up with. I'm going to be frying my fish uh, in some hot oil with the batter. And I decided to go with the baked method. She likes plain and she likes a lot of cornmeal, but she's not getting cornmeal and I'm gonna try to change her mind with this. However, you have the crappie, which is the best meat. I felt a little Over. tricked up my sleeve. I have like some kind of creativity. My creativity is down in the dumps right now because I've been kind of feeling a little sick mm. today. That's why I chose this day. I know. So I can defeat you. You knew. Okay, another thing. I was at a disadvantage because catfish normally has some gaminess to it. I would have shown you this during the cleaning process, but YouTube's gotten a little weird lately. So I took my fillet knife and I just kind of floated it and I cut um, not right next to the skin like I do with every other fish, but I floated it like a, a sixteenth of an inch uh, over the meat there. So there's I left a little bit of meat on the catfish, on the fillet, but it prevented some of that gamey flavor uh, from getting on there. So. It's just an easier way to, if you want to just quickly fillet a catfish, but also take some of the, the gaminess out of it. So my fillets actually turned out really white and really nice, and there's just a small little bloodline in there. We got our Honey Chipotle Killer Bee rub in there, along with our just standard, this is flour, this is a little bit of uh, paprika, uh, a little bit of salt. It's a very, like, base mixture. OSG. Recipe. You got a lot of things going on over here. I'm known for the mixtures here. I'm known for the secret sauces. So I'm actually going to do a crappie, a baked crappie sandwich with a sweetened barbecue sauce on top. Oh, whoa! Ooh. You're going full sandwich mode, okay. Mm -hmm. All right, I just got a little scared there. <laughs> that sounds awesome. Doesn't it? I can't wait to try yours, actually. <laughs> well, there's only two fillets. So you're making like a po' boy. Is that what a po' boy is? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, I'm definitely beating you. You don't even know what a po' boy is. You think you know how to cook fish? I got this. I got this on lock. <laughs> I'm still waiting for my grease to heat up. Wait, can I look it up? It looks like a, a mirror. <laughs> so, I, need, I need the interwebs. Tell me what a po' boy boy. A po' boy. A po' boy, boy. Why can I never talk? It's actually poor boy, but you know, boy. in Louisiana, they just put a little apostrophe on there called po' boy. You can do shrimp po' boy. A shrimp. Crop yeah, oh yeah. Like you just throw it in the sandwich? Oh, yeah, okay. okay. <laughs> Our next big trip, we're going to Louisiana, and we're having some proper seafood. Me and OSG. If you want to see that, let me know in the comments. <laughs> okay, some redfish. Redfish on the half shell? Come on now. OSG also going with a panko. Panko? Mm -hmm. Mixture on top, so, so some crumblies. Yeah. And you've got sweet, spicy. Uh, you're going all out and yes. finishing. You're finishing with a little. I, I did sauce. Frank's Red Hot, and then I added um, some sweet and spicy seafood rub. I think it might be a little spicy. That's why I'm adding the sweet uh, barbecue sauce to kind of level out that spice. You're like almost Cajun. So I heated it up a little bit to kind of like get the maple syrup in there. Oh, I s smell it. Do you smell it? it smells so good. It smells sweet like nectar. Like my mouth is water. <laughs> Mm -mm -mm. Shake a bake, simply just put them in there and do both of them at the same time. Seal it up. Well, you're toasting the buns too. Oh, yeah, I'm going the extra mile. Wow. You're gonna lose. I feel like my mom's gonna favor you just because you're, you know, you're her favorite. It. Oh yeah, that's that's true. We're going in autumn mode, so. That's coating very nicely. Very nicely. Okay, let's do a little sprinkle test. See if we're hot. If you don't want to see if your grease is hot enough, just take a little bit of your flour. See if it sizzles. It's not sizzling. She's trying to sabotage me. <laughs> I don't know how to work the oven. 
Time for the hot grease. We're all gotta come in close. This is always the best part right here. Oh yeah, starting to bubble. Hair bubble right there. Hair bubble? That's a hair bubble. Come you, on now. You can go ahead if it Don't was OSG. Don't waste time here. Look at that. Beautifully coated. Ooh, if this was OSG, I'd wait just a second. Here. Beautifully coated. I'm waiting as we speak. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> I think you treat your fish. Come on, the audience is waiting here. Like a... <laughs> <laughs> I treat my fillets. When I get it, when I catch a fish, I get excited. I know. Because I immediately think about how good it's going to taste coming out of the hot grease. Mm, that's you know, a good thought process. You catch a nice catfish or a crappie, you're like, yes. Oh, yeah. Come on, man. Just a light sizzle. Light sizzle, it's coming. It's such a delicate little sizzle. It is. You want it, you want it to be a little, a little bit more intense than that, but it's getting hot. We're on a time limit right here, so here we go. Hey, where's those little things that uh, I do the um, got the holes in them? Yeah. Like a little fish, uh, the top? Little, no, 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 like a, you know, like a, like a flat, not like a spatula, but that. Yes, that thing sitting there right in front of my face. How long does your fish need to cook? I'm kind of watching it. It's on a six-minute timer, or it was 15. Golden crispies. Oh yeah, mine are almost done. How are you doing? Uh, um. I can't really tell, but I think I'm doing okay. They're turning a little golden as they well. They are turning golden. Don't let them cook too long now. You got some dang crappies. You didn't get some fat backs, like 15 inches. I don't know. That was a 13 incher. This is like where I'm where I am faulty because I don't know how long to cook fish. Yes. Ah. And you got your buns still haven't been cooked over here. No, they're done. They're toasty. They are done. They're okay. warm and toasty. You got four minutes and 25 seconds oh, left we're good. to get this thing on the plate and ready to eat for our judge. Okay, I think I got two minutes left. Do you have a dip to go along with your golden crispy? I do. What is it? Ketchup? ketchup. How original. Ketchup. There's a lot of creativity that goes in ketchup. All right, I mean, once I know the judge, it's over. <laughs> Let that do another 30 seconds on the back, little sizzle. Boom! Got this thing in the bag. Because you have no idea how this is actually going to turn out. <laughs> We've never done this. You basically got a spicy, sweet, <laughs> Cajun maple syrup uh, Might as well boy. just add a pickle on it. <laughs> I mean, you got everything going on. You went all out. Plate fell off there. Know. Oh, you know. You know. Your oven just went off. Yep, it did. So I need to go check. Left. Two minute warning. Oh gosh. Okay, wait. I need to get a fork and flake and see if this is done. Fork! I mean it's crappie, so it's it's not like chicken. It's not like chicken? I don't know. How do I know when it's done? I don't know. Your judge is gonna let you know. Ah, uh, maybe it needs to go back in. <laughs> I don't know. Over here in this corner. <laughs> it's like a big shrimp. <laughs> champion of the world. My alarm is going off on my ah, wrist. I've got 20 seconds. And that means it is time to plate your dish. I mean, it smells pretty good. Getting like the baked barbecue smell. I think they're I'm the worst fish cooker ever. I always have to ask you, Sam, will you check my fish for me? No, this is competition no. mode. I need the dub. Dang it. Can you make a catfish taste better than a crappie? Well, I'm sure In you this can case, if you can fry it. I think she's a little nervous. I've never seen her this nervous over a competition. Just waiting for the old judge to pull up. By the time these catfish cool off just a little bit, they're gonna be perfect. Dip a little. Catch up. Oh, yeah.
Now, my presentation isn't going to be as good um, because it's kind of like when I wrap Christmas presents. Oh, yeah. Oh. <laughs> it's like a brown paper sack that's cut like halfway unfolded. Actually, you don't even go there. You give it to other people to wrap for you. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> I mean, that's a true story. Oh, wow. That's some bonus points right there. Doesn't that look pretty good? I mean, it smells kind of like a barbecue chicken sandwich. <laughs> it does! But are you going to be able to, I mean, you've covered up maybe the best tasting yeah, fish out no. there. Actually, we'll go with the offset. Offset presentation. Back-to-back -back caddies. Just, we had a little boo-boo here. A little snafu, but look at the internals. Just beautiful white meat. Indication of a perfect crispy. For side presentation. And dipping sauce. We're going to go with classic sprouts, not Heinz. <laughs> classic you know, sprouts. Heinz, Heinz is hard to find. <laughs> Bottled in, in certified 100% recyclable plastic. I just want a taste. A little swirl and a little sputter at the end. Wabam. You gonna taste test it? I'm trying. Hey, there's it's, no. It's already getting You can't done. make modifications. It's gonna Timer's go. done. Ah. No more mods allowed. No. What will win the competition? The Honey Barbecue Cajun. Sweet and spicy, lightly toasted, mildly soggy, possibly not cooked all the way sandwich <laughs> of the crappie or the classic golden crispy catfish with a little ketchup. While we're waiting on the judge, I think we should each take a bite of our own. Let's have a little sampling and uh, let's do some commentating on this. A little bit of ketchup if you'd like. Okay. I mean, yours is like right next to me. It's burning my nostrils. <laughs> you smell it? Mmm. That was pretty good. It's lightly fried. Mm. It's like a perfect little crisp. I got a bone. Oh. Good. No. It's a good thing I didn't do that long. <laughs> I think I overcooked it a hair. You think so? I kind of like it a little crunchy. I don't like it when like fr when fried fish is kind of like mushy. It's the texture of the fish though. This one doesn't have much flavor. My mom's gonna love it. Mm-hmm. Yeah, she is. Okay. Let's try mine. The catfish is like a meatier fish. It's more like a chick, you know, chicken. Is that cooked? I mean, yeah, probably. <laughs> okay, you try. You try that. Oh, oh, that was a lot of sandwich and not much fish. <laughs> well, it was a small little fillet. Look at that. Mm. Still hot. The bun is a little soggy. Mm-mm. I need it. I'm getting rid of the bun. That texture is a little weird. I'm tossing the bun. The, the, the crappie is so soft. It literally like melts into the bun. Yeah, I, I would agree with that. Which means it's, it's probably not cooked. Dang it! <laughs> I don't think it's good. Okay, since Judge isn't here, and you, it hasn't cooked all the way, OSG's putting it back in the oven. Points deducted. What? Yeah, meanwhile, the classic. It just keeps on kicking. Do you have any more of that? Yeah. No, I mean, like, do you have any more fish? Like, can you fillet some more fish? I don't have, this is the only catfish That's I have. it? <laughs> Okay, the great lady of the south is here, along with baby Emmy. You like some ketchup? Uh, of course. It's, it's a, wait, wait a minute, let me taste without. You want to taste without ketchup? Okay. Mm -hmm. Go for it. What are you What are you experiencing right now? Crusty. 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 Mm -hmm. That's your first. That's notion. not a good description. Okay. I thought it was a little overcooked myself, but okay. But now you're liking it. Some well, enjoyment. You know I love catfish. I know you love catfish. Mm -hmm. Where's the next one? Okay. Mm -hmm. oh, she's uh, a tough critic. Dang, see I didn't I went low on the flavors. This next one's gonna be full of flavor. Okay. So these are two different species of fish, just so you know. <laughs> okay, this is Maybe like you, fresh you out of piece? the oven. Okay. That was a big note. We baked this one a little bit longer again. Oh. Fish! We're gonna do it without the bun this time. <laughs> Fresh out of the oven. <laughs> it's an interesting place. So right, yeah, our mysterious southern lady right now, she is in wonderment. Making some odd faces. 
Do you Let's think it's funny too? First impressions here. Okay, the fish is bland. The sauce, um, sauce tastes good. It's very hot and flavor, flavor hot. Okay. And flavor hot. Yeah, I'm gonna go with the first one. It's more, it. more of the uh, southern. More, more of a, Yay, a fried catfish. Yay, Daddy! Cat fish. <laughs> Look, she's clapping for you. Oh, Daddy, can you clap? Daddy won the Krispy Kreme dance! Yeah! Well, we all knew who that was gonna be. Yeah. I don't know if we did, but I think I made the right move going with the classic golden. As it turns out, Fish and Freaks, it is possible to make a catfish taste better than a crappie. I would like to point out, OSG crushes every type of cooking. It's just that, you know, my fish game is just on point. And I still got some white bass in here. I gotta go clean so we can have our actual dinner. A hot, fresh, crispy, a uh, proper one. Thank y'all for tuning in to today's cook off and let me know in the comments if you wanna see more cook offs of me and OSG. And if you wanna just see more from around here at the Treehouse, subscribe down below to the Lake Life Family Channel. And don't forget to keep it locked right here for adventures in outdoor greatness. Smash it y'all, God bless you, and I'll see you on the next one. Thank you.